Hundreds of residents packed into the Tamarack City Commission meeting tonight. The center of the controversy is a clubhouse in the townhome community the city wants to purchase and turn into a community center. CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner has both sides of the conflict. The first person who stood up during public comment tonight is an attorney who said that he filed an emergency injunction Tuesday night to stop the sale of the clubhouse to the city. He said that it's illegal for the HOA to sell the clubhouse without 75% of the homeowner's approval. Just an added layer of complexity to this situation that had hundreds of people here tonight angry. No, no, no. Signs of frustration. Over this clubhouse located off of Commercial Boulevard, part of Shakers Village, a townhome community. It was destroyed years ago in a storm. No more seats, so they would like for people to go in 105 or sit outside. Not an empty seat in the house. Those left standing had to go into an overflow room. Most came to voice opposition to the purchase of the clubhouse. We should not be paying for another condo's clubhouse. Very simple. If we, if we have a problem at our community, we get assessed. And question the legality and morality of the vice mayor, Marlon Bolton, voting in favor of the purchase. He lives in the community. Talk about a conflict of interest here. It's far more than appearance. It may not be illegal. We don't know because we don't have the facts, but I have sent a letter to the inspector general. But Elaine Peterkin said, who cares? It doesn't matter where the vice mayor lives or where he doesn't live. He's not doing it because of him living there. It's for a community. Both she and Gloria Street say the community center will make the city as a whole better. It'll be beautiful to drive by to see a nice building standing there. The city budgeted $1.9 million to purchase the land. That does not include the construction of the new project. Why is it ta Tamarack's responsibility to take care of this village? But the city commission already approved the purchase of the property. The decision they have to make Wednesday night is whether to make it a shared use facility, meaning the HOA will have access to use it for meetings. The meeting is still going on and it could last for a while longer. So we will update you when we have any more information. In Tamarack, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.